good morning so my morning always start with her asking to be pet Ethan. so what she's so cute then there's always this one waiting for me at my chair to be petted too my boo -boo. This one is so soft. She's like cashmere. Hey everyone. Good morning. So today is the first day of Vlogmas for me. I'm Fanny from Mitten Croquet, Bitten Mitten. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the Vlogmas in English. And PC is going to do it in French. We're going to separate on different youtube channel so not to mix the french and the english and today i will film a, a podcast only by myself to keep you up to date to what's been going on and what i'm doing my whips my fo's and yeah everything and this morning is the most exciting days of the year because we are opening Advent, so I have one uh, sticker Advent from Blueberry Papeterie, so Blueberry Papers, we could say it like that. I have one Ferrero Rocher collection. I have one Yarn Advance from Simple Sorcière. Uh, you could tell her as Simply Witch. If you want to translate it, she's a yarn dyer from uh, Mont, uh, Quebec. Uh, and what I like about her is uh, she has a thematic, a witchy theme. And this year is with the element air. I thought it was water, but I'm not sure now. No, it's water. It's supposed to be water. Last year it was fire and here. I'm gonna make sure it just wait a moment. Have some. Oh, it's fire this year. <laughs> Neither of those. And it makes so much sense. Because I need some fire in my life. As you see, I look so tired. But I'm not that bad today. It's only my cat Croc Mitten slept with me all the night like really close to me really close to my uh, how do we say it in english my pillow and that's why make eyes like that so that's really cool because she sends a letter look at that detail on the on the seal the, the wax seal and then she says hey, welcome to the Sim simple sorcerer universe uh, your uh, advent calendar your yule advent calendar is of the fire element um uh, some days have extras and the document, this document explain each of them. Each of them. And it's gonna have the number of the days on it. Like it's not an extra, but for example, this one has the number one. It might be the, the name color on it. Uh, the minis are 20 grams in the pagan base, so 85% merino spare watch, 15% nylon, and the rest is for us to discover. You was the winter solstice celebration uh, 
for German uh, peoples before Christianity. It was custom to light a candle, read each Sunday of the month of December to symbolize the return of the light. Um, nowadays, you is a holiday that the weekends decided to revive, like Samhain and many other uh, pagan holidays. Uh, so we can include Germanic beliefs, Druidic, Germanic, Celtic, Slavic, Nor Northern, before pre-Christianity. Uh, Wicca can be celebrated without a coven. And she, suggest she suggests that we make our own rituals if we want to, to experiment during the month of December. The new moon will be the 20, 23rd of December and the full moon is the 8th of December. The movement of the moon is really important for the Simply Witch of this month, the new moon celebrate, uh, signifies renewal, a new start. It's important to make wish, to manifest them, to manifest what we want in life, to cleanse energies, to start a new uh, renewal, uh, rebirth, sorry. I'm sorry, the, the document is in French. I know that she does one in English. I'm going to ask her to send it to me, but today I'm going to read it like that for you. And after that, the f new moon, uh, the full moon, brings um, questioning about what we want to left behind us, what we want to get rid of, physical um, cleaning so for uh, Catherine Lemay she is the owner of Simple Simple Sorcière uh, what this event is about is the construction the slow construction of what you want to manifest in 2023 with the solstice being the 21 and the new moon the 23rd, a big cleansing of 2022 should begin at the start of December to liberate ourselves of to liberate ourselves close to those two dates and to do what we want to do in 2023. Knitting is a meditative art. So take the time with your knitting to knit your intention, create your dream, uh, make possible your desire. And what is good is that with Earth, the universe Earth, is that it is uh, it repeats itself so there is 13 moon pi bird i'm sorry i'm trying to see to say the french word at the same time as the english so 13 moons by year so each each time you can create and get rid of what is putting you down. So the advent is about 500 grams of yarn who were created with love, passion and magic. And then she gives us um, 
Instagram uh, hashtag Instagram so we can send it uh, we can take picture and send it to her with the hashtag so she can look at them it's a hashtag is the at simple underscore social and we can post them on social media with the names it's going to be perfect for her. and then after that there's the names of the yarn and after that why the element fire i'm just going to take a little bit So I won't be seeing uh, the names in advance, but I'm going to describe why the fire element. Fire is often synonyms with passion, impulsivity, danger, but she thinks she likes to see this element for its capacity to start project to bring movement in your life to cleanse and to rebirth to give you a rebirth it is life source it animates it it eat it bring eat to you and it brings happiness yeah happiness also it's symbols of uh, celebration, happiness. We often we often go sit by the fire with friends and everything like that. So, réjouissance, it's called. It brings us together. It is often the center of holidays, and it allows us to uh, feed us. So without fires, the, there is no food, but well, almost no food. It brings at the same time introspection, intimacy, confidence. It is always there in our important life moments. May it be with uh, joy, joy fire. On a, um, on a cake or to create us with a bubbly bath its function always remain to uh, follow us and to show us the light even in the darkest moments of our life it is always there to look out for us so that's the introduction to the Simple Sorcerer advent. And there's a little card. There's the LD is stuck. And then there's the little one with with the yarn inside. Uh, my sister, there's other elements in the box, but what she, because it's, it was not, um, we, I might not see what it is or I might have guessed what it is. So she will put each day one uh, on the table before I wake up because she's a night owl. And she puts the blueberry pap papeterie advent and then she put the simple sorcière. The Ferrero Rocher one, I'm gonna control myself. And then there's the Bitten Mitten advent that I made myself. So I'm gonna open it as if I didn't receive one. I didn't see it, just to show it to you. But the day one is a big gift. After that, I can show it to you. After that, there's the meanings, and there's a bag for the 25. So the 25 is uh, 
big yarn normally in ovens. So, which one to start with? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with the Ferrero Rocher because it's not gonna be the the fascinating one. Not much. There's three choice of chocolate in it: black, Raffaello, or normal Ferrero Rocher. So, I'm sorry for the scrunch. So today is a normal Ferrero Rocher. And I'm gonna give this one to Emily. It's my little sister. She lives with me with two roommates. Uh, and it's her birthday today. So my parents are coming today to celebrate her. So I have to clean my house. Okay. So after that, I'm gonna open the blueberry papeterie. So each day comes with a little sticker on it with the number. I try not to rip it, that one, because it's cute. So even if it comes with a little bit of the envelope on it, I can still use it because I have a, a two side tape. So I just glue it again. So let's see what's inside. Oh, that's cute. That's all the drinks. Can you see the little gingerbread men? They are so cute. And the snow. The uh, snowman too. It's really cute. I'm sorry I shake so much. I'm gonna take a picture of it after that. So you're gonna be able to see it better. I'm gonna put it back in the envelopes. Then I'm gonna open my holiday adult. The one from Betten Mitten, or as we say in French, Mitten Croquet. So, so, what I wanted to do today is to start December with a good note. So I put inside my favorite kind of brewster. Is it? How do you say that? The one that, that brew coffee? That makes coffee? So it is from the Ruler Hills K. And it is the Kenya Classic. So it's a really good coffee. It's one of my favorite. Every Kenya with each brand is really good, but this one is so good. Ridge is a Quebec-based uh, roasted roaster. Yeah, roaster. Uh, it is in Carleton-sur-Mer, so it is in, in the Gaspésie Peninsula. If you look at the map of the Quebec, there's a little thingy that goes like that so that's in that region and it smells i'm gonna make some this morning and there's the little number one too with it so this year we made um, only 20 grams because 25 grams some told us was too much for minutes so we are trying the 20 grams and i'm gonna put a, a picture at the end of the um, of the picture that that all the yarns all the thematic is based on so the theme is christmas lights trees and a uh, sea because in the trees there's sea creature it's a sea sea decor so we made it like that so starting the first day we have a whimsy and sassy marker she's one of my favorite marker creator so i asked her to make some for us this year so it's a little crap can you see that little guy he's so cute so that's really fun. 
Then the color is Crab from us. So 80% Merino Superwash, 20% Nylon. It's our Bombay base. And it's that color. And I'm gonna open it for you. So like that. So it makes me think of a crab legs that you're starting to cook. All the crabs that has its color. There's brown bits, speckles on it. And I really like it. I'm surprised because there's brown and I don't really like brown, but this one is really great. So, uh, yeah, I think I did good with the colors this year. Let me think what you think about that. And I'm so sorry, I'm so thirsty in the morning. You will see it. <coughs> <coughs> I really like our wax seal. I hope I don't destroy this one. Yes, I did it. Well, I only need one to put in my agenda, but... Okay, so... It's not the, um, the name of the yarn. It's the extra that is written on it. So... Christmas socks and, and made. It was a pleasure for her to make. It, is, it can contain the advent, in com the complete advent. It's Yule, but also Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's. She wishes only the only happiness and love for 2023. And oh, that's cute. There's little crystals there I might have to do a journal just for just for the advent so I put that there with a picture of each advent I'm gonna do that and the color for today is name foyer so oh boy how to say that in English earth it's like when you put the fire in your home i think it's earth h e a r t h earth oh wow it's really pretty i'm sorry i didn't even show you so the it's showing much lighter on the screen but it has such deepness of it. It's really pretty. Seriously, Catherine, you did such a good job just with this one. I'm happy. And the yarn is soft. It's really pretty. I can't wait for the next ones. So, this morning. I'm going to do some journaling. After that, I have to clean up the house because my parents are coming. And even though they know that we sometimes have too much stuff, I don't want them to see it like it is right now. And then after that, oh yeah, I have to feed the cats before they, they try to kill me for food. And because in the morning and in the evening, we, de we give them raw food. So it is pre-made raw food. We don't have to do it ourselves. And they love it. It's better than the little bites that they get the rest of the, of the day. And then I'm going to try to go take a walk. Because I have to start that new habit to take a walk. Because I have to lose weight. It's for my my health and yeah I'm gonna take you to through that it's not always fun the days with me I mostly knit work knit go 
go to sleep. Yeah, that's about it. So you're gonna be stuck with me this year. And I'm gonna see you later. Bye. So every morning I do, uh, I write what I'm, I'm thankful for and I draw a, a card from this oracle. So it's really fun, th this because you have the, the meaning on it and they are cute too. So I'm gonna draw my card this morning. Pets. What should I know about today? So, it is this one. You've been doing a great job considering all you've been up against. And depending on the day, if I have placed in my... In my... How do we say that? In my planner. I might stick the card. I'm gonna show you. I might stick the card like this day I stuck the card with my HP sprocket. It's it prints little picture that is with that has sticker underneath it. So and I write four things I am grateful for or things I'm proud, proud of, of myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop the, the voice because Mitan is. I don't know if you hear her, but she's like that sometimes. So there I go. I'm gonna put it, uh, quicker. Then I will go to my trackers. So what I'm doing is every month I have one for knitting and one for everything else. So today I'm mostly going to knit. Uh, I didn't put the what color should I put it? In? <clears throat> I think blue. So I'm doing a test for Andrian Pirus, Knitting Kiro on Instagram. And the name of the socks is Gnome to the Bones. And each day I will color the section. I don't know if you see it. But I have December in French written so every day I will color the number of the day and I do this because first I like to see what I did in a month and then I love paper and I love pens I love doing that and since I collect pen and I collect papers and everything it gives me a reason to do it so if I use it at least once every day then I'm gonna be able to justify why I buy some more you understand right and now I did the knitting I will do the Tracker. So I have my feelings, my level of pain, and get better. So if I walk, if I shower, if I brush my teeth, uh, if I dye a day, if I dye yarn, and I color every section as its color in the ring, and I do it every day. And it's it helps me to keep track of how I'm going in the month 
why I'm happy, for example, that day, because I, I will have written something in the planning part. So it helps me see why I'm not feeling good some days and why I'm feeling happy some days to make sure I do more of the happy stuff and less of the sad and down stuff. So I'm gonna color it and I'll see you back soon. Sometimes I use scrap papers to do projects or decoration on the planner. <clears throat> so that's what I will do today. <clears throat> it's no way I saw it. It's a little bit of crazy snow because of the winds. But it's looking pretty. I made a podcast, you will be able to see it. And Holy shit, it's snowing so much more right now. Look at that. It's beautiful. So uh, here's my mom and my roommate, Sandy, doing the the chores, the chores of getting rid of all the, those icicles in the, in the tree because Yeah, they will eat it, and then they are gonna poop it. Do. <laughs> so there you go. That's what we're doing today. <laughs>